Hello again, tutorial number five on Community Builder 2.0. Uh, let's get back to what we did in tutorial four. We basically created a list, a single list. We called it members table list. And this is what it looks like in the front end. You can see it's three columns and each column has specific data in it. Now, let's go back and actually clone this. Click the checkbox and do a copy. So we have a second list here. Uh, we'll see that the second list has taken the default status. Since every time we create a new list and we mark a default, it basically takes the default from the previous lists. So let's just switch that and keep our table list as the default. Now let's go edit this. First thing I want to do is maybe change the name and let's just call it grid members. It's not going to be a table anymore so let's just call it grid members list. Okay and instead of table list let's call it grid lists okay everything is the same let's keep the sorting the same filter the same look at the columns now <coughs> since this is going to be a grid we don't really want uh, multiple columns so let's just go and remove the last two and actually let's even add a third one here the online status online without title and let's just save this let's go and look in front end and see what we did <laughs> so this is the default list again like members table we have a second list here in the drop down selector let's select it so it doesn't really look like a grid yet right because it's still it's still a table let's go back and look at the parameters tab the display and there's such a selection here at the end use grid layout set that to yes and keep the height and the width at 200 pixels which is the default save front end let's go and look at it again now it looks like a grid so it's a 200 by 200 grid and it basically has uh, the avatar the formatted name and the offline online status okay let's go one step further now and go to our grid list and actually clone that so do a copy let's members table list kept the default because we copied a list that was not default all right go here and now instead of grid members list let's just add canvas members list the grid canvas and what we're basically going to do in the columns area we're going to add the canvas image again without title let's keep everything else the same save let's take a look what happened so we have our members table our grid members list and our grid canvas members list and this is what it looks like cool there's too much white space here so let's go back and edit the parameters display area the height has to be much less i think the height should be like 80.
I actually do a refresh, see what happens. It looks good. Okay. So now we have three less. It's a table list with three columns. We have the grids members list. It's basically, it's a grid based, just one column with three fields in them. And we also have the canvas grid, which looks like this. That's it for today. I just wanted to go through some variations of the user lists so you see how powerful the community builder user list feature is right now. In the next tutorial, we'll start adding, adding some searches here so people could actually search user lists for specific data. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.